understand today how to create an offline blog or a poster uh, you can create with the help of word we can create either a offline blog or a poster so for the designing part I, today I'll tell you few features of MS Word which you can use for creating both the things okay so for that first I'm going to insert a page background go to the page layout tab and then go to the page color you can choose uh, go to fill effects you can choose gradients of two colors like suppose I'm choosing uh, two different colors purple and and more colors pink and then I want to choose uh, the shading style as a diagonal diagonal up and this one okay so this is how you can give two different shades to your page you can give three different shades also or you can give a single color also or you can also insert a picture go to fill effects then go to picture and choose a picture which you want to insert as a background so that I'll show you later first give us the let us give the borders to the page go to page border from here you can choose the artistic borders to your page or you can also choose a sing simple borders like this so I'm going to choose a simple border mm, this one this one and okay so this is how you can insert the page border now let us insert a picture in the background for that let us search the picture first I am going to search um, blue backgrounds or green backgrounds whatever you want to choose or suppose I'm going to create a poster of a summer camp so I'm going to search summer backgrounds because you are inserting it on a page it means a word it means the size of the image should be more so go to mo uh, go to tools then choose the size and it should be large okay now these all images are large in size I'm go going to open any one image suppose this one I'm going to insert on my page so what I'll do I'll right click on it and click on save image and choose a location wherever you want to save I'm going to save it in documents So this image I wanted to insert as a background so again go to your word file now there are two ways to insert a picture as a background first way is go to page color then go to fill effects then go to pictures and select the picture from here but this is not a correct way I'll tell you why because sometimes the image does not covers the whole page so I think the name of the picture was this only okay so it has already the size was too big so it has already covered the whole page so it's fine perfect 
but sometimes if it doesn't covers the whole page it means you have to replace that picture with some other picture which should be bigger in size so that it can cover your whole page like this okay so we have inserted a picture in the background now now uh, because we are going to create a poster on summer camp so i'm just taking a word art or this is the first option you can insert it as a word art or the second option is you can look for the png images png images are those images which have transparent background so i'm writing here summer camp png images so let us check is this a is this a png image how do we came to know how do we know that this is png or not whenever the picture will will open completely there will be check boxes that you can see in the background so this is a png image because check boxes came so i am going to save it save image okay this is unnamed one so this is a image copy it and paste it on your page okay now if i try to move this image on my page i will not be able to move it so if you want to move an image on your page so first of all you have to right click on the image and go to wrap text option and choose behind text or front of text or any one so i have chosen behind text now set the image place it wherever you want to place increase or decrease the size if you want okay now i am going to search for few activities which i wanted to include in my summer camp and i am going to include i am going to search these activities as a png images so that um, they should not have any background let us search skating because we have to search for a png image so one by one we need to check so what i can do i can click on the transparent option these are the filters given by the google you can click on that this is not what i want so i want to write specify kids skating png now look for it mm, check this one is this a png image yes this is a png image so i am going to save it and let us check this one also is this a png one yes this is also png so save image and suppose the next option is next i wanted to insert the next activity that is swimming mm, okay let us check this image it's yes it is a png image so i'm going to save it now let us insert these two images first 
so I have to insert this image copy it and paste it now I cannot move this image so what I need to do right click on the image and then click on wrap text option in front of text or behind text whatever you want to choose so here I just also want to write swimming in front of the image so I'm going to insert a shape you can insert any shape right click on the shape and add text swimming you can also write the timings timing suppose 4 pm to 5 p.m. Now suppose because the image color though sorry the the shape color is not matching with my the coloring scheme so I wanted to change it or I wanted to make it a transparent one go to the format tab there is an option of fill shape I just wanted to choose no color in that case I have to change the color of the text and I wanted to make it a red or black or whatever whatever you like I'm going to make it black and the shape also suppose I don't want to display now because it doesn't it is not looking nice so shape outline no outline you can increase the font now now you can rotate the image also now I'm going to insert the second image here now first I, I'll show you one more feature if you are not getting the GIF, GIF image you can also make it GIF like this uh, like skating it's now suppose let us open uh, this image this is not a GIF image or a PNG image I'm going to save it now copy it and paste it in your word file right click wrap text behind the text decrease the size of the image now this feature will help you to convert a normal JPG image into a PNG image with no background click the image go to the format tab there is an option of remove background click on this 
automatically the pink area means the area which will be deleted from your image so if you want to do some editing then you can choose this option mark area to keep so I'm going to mark few areas which I wanted to keep right now which is pink but still I wanted to keep like the arm of the girl is pink it means it will automatically get deleted now just move down okay it has cropped the from the bottom also so I'm going to increase it okay I think now it is perfect mark the area to remove but this area I want to remove so I'll just select that area or the area here okay now I think it is perfect so keep changes now the image which was not a GIF image or a PNG image now it is also a now this also becomes a PNG image with a transparent background so this is a feature of MS Word which you can use in your in your uh, poster if you are not able to find any PNG images on the internet now here suppose I wanted to insert the text so I'm just going to copy the same as above copy it and paste it and now shift it and here I'm going to do the changes now my poster is ready so this is how you can create the blogs or the posters you can insert more images I have inserted only two images you can insert more images also and you can make your poster looks beautiful so this is the page you can take the printout of it also and use it wherever you want to use so this is how you can create an offline blog or a normal poster next one more feature I want to show you of word of images only that we can crop the images also click on the page zoom in suppose I want to crop this image this water bubbles which are coming this I this area I want to crop so go to the format tab there is an option of crop click on this and you can drag it to delete that area like this and then click on crop button that area will get cropped and then you can adjust your picture wherever you want to adjust so this is how we can crop we can remove the background from the picture you can also change the color of the pictures like this you can make it black and white you can give any other color which suits your background clear so here I'm going to wind up the session this is how you can create the posters or offline blogs